I'm having my tea here, because... Hi, I'm Tony. I thought I'd... Uh... <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Hi, I'm Tony. I've been making pizzas for about one or two years, uh, and I've tried so many dough recipes, and I think I, I finally found one that's pretty easy to follow uh, and pretty much foolproof. So I thought I'd put a quick YouTube video together on how to do it. I've weighed everything out to make it easy for myself, but if you just follow my ingredients, it makes enough for about six balls, which are the perfect size to fit in your common outdoor oven. So like rock box, Gosney rock box or your Unis. makes between like a 10 to 12 inch pizza. The dough balls are about 250 grams each weight, 255 grams. So six balls, and this is what you use. We have 936 grams of double O flour. So the double O flour that I use is either this one, which is Dale Giovanna flour, or also uh, Caputo Blue I use. So double O zero, really good quality flour. I do find that the better the flour you get, the, the better your pizzas taste. I also have uh, 561 grams of room temperature water. So the reason it's grams, i.e. weighed, is that there is a difference and it's easy to get the perfect measurement if you use weighing rather than the measurements on a jug. So weigh it with scales if you can. Also 33 grams of fine sea salt and then 2.1 grams of fresh yeast. Now it's important to say that with these measurements, what I'm gonna do is, in total, I'm gonna leave the flour and the, the dough, if you like, to prove for 24 hours. So if I make it now, it's gonna be ready for tomorrow at the same time, yeah? That's total proving time. I'll explain a little bit about what they call boiling up the dough, uh, which is almost like preparing it for the last stretch, if you like. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so on to making the dough then. So we start off with putting all of the water into the big bowl. Okay, then get your yeast. This is 2.1 grams of yeast, yeah? Get your yeast and crumble it in and dissolve it in. So you can see, I'm just scrunching it with my fingers to dissolve it in completely. Yeah, it won't take long, just use your fingers won't take long to dissolve, okay? And then what you do, this is all approximate, yeah? Just put half of the flour into your water and yeast mixture. Now the reason you do that is because we're gonna put salt in in a bit and you're not supposed to let the salt touch the yeast because it will kill the yeast, yeah? I'm gonna put about half in, all approximate, yeah? And then I'm just gonna start mixing it. Yeah, just mixing it round with my hands. Hard to show you. Just literally mix it. And you get like a, you'll get like, it looks like, almost like batter when you make pancakes. That kind of consistency. Keep mixing it round. That's it, that's better. Slightly thicker. Let me show you. See, it's still water, yeah? But it's just slightly thicker than, than pure water. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put the flour in. That's on the flour, the salt's in. That's the salt in. Mix that around a bit. Now this is the tricky bit, because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start adding the rest of the flour in, bit by bit, yeah? And the trick is not too quick, but quite quick. Yeah, so you see how fast I'm going in? And I'm stirring with one hand and mixing with the other. And this is where it will start to get really sticky and a little bit difficult to manage. You just gotta keep going with it, because once you get to a certain point, it will get easier. So keep, keep getting the flour off the edge of the bowl Keep mixing it in as you're going through. So I'm going quite quick. I'm not messing around, I'm going quite quick. 
getting it off the edge of the bowl, look, getting it off, rubbing it off as I'm going through, so it's not mixing in nice, nice and consistently. Yeah. But like you can see, pretty quick though, I'm not messing around, I'm going quite quick. Okay, see it's starting to come together a little bit, yeah? The more, the more you get to the end of this flower, the more you keep mixing quite quickly, like I say, you'll see it's gonna get easier to, to come out of the bowl when we do our kneading, yeah? Just gotta keep persevering with it, yeah? That's why if you use your hands, it's better. Because it really does enable you to squeeze in, get that flour into the dough ball. Last bit now, I think. Yeah, there you go, all in, yeah? So that, just to re recap then, that's 936 grams of double O flour, 500 and 61 grams, grams here, of room temperature water, 33 grams of salt. But if you find that's too much salt, you know, you can go down to like about 20 grams is the minimum I'd put in, uh, and 33 is just about right for us. And then yeast-wise, 2.1 grams of yeast, yeah? And that's assuming, again, like I said, that's a 24-hour proof. So prep in the day before you're gonna eat it, okay? You can see, look, it's starting to come off really nicely now off the edge of the bowl. And it's starting to come off my sticky hands. Well, not completely, but you get the idea. Nearly at the point now where we're going to start kneading. See it coming off the edge, look nicely. Yes, yeah, so and now it's really picking up off the edge. Yeah, so it's going to be ready, for taking out of this bowl and kneading. See it? It's not sticky to my hands anymore. Yeah, it's coming on nicely. So, move this out of the way. So, I'm going to knead now for eight minutes. Yeah? Kneading. I'll take my watch off. Knead for eight minutes. Literally, just like this. Stretch it, fold it over, turn it around. Stretch it, fold it over, turn it around. Stretch it, and when I say stretch, you're almost like ripping it, yeah? Like that, look. Fold it over, turn it around. Rip it, fold it over, turn it around. We can do that, yank it on, throw it on the counter, pull it, fold it, turn it. Rip it, fold it, turn it. Fold it over, slam it there, fold it over. Yeah, so do this for eight minutes. I'm not gonna video eight minutes of kneading, because that'd be really boring for you, yeah? But I'm gonna come back in eight minutes. I'll finish off, I'll show you finishing off, yeah? Okay, so see you in eight minutes. Okay, so we're kneading. Done eight minutes kneading. Just over eight minutes. And it kind of goes soft and a bit springy like that, yeah? Once you've done that, just like this, look. Round and round, stretch it, rip it. Fold it over. Once you've done that, kind of fold it over, look. See what I'm doing with it, slow motion. Fold it over and then tuck it. Tuck it like that. Yeah? Tuck it like that. So it makes a nice, smooth. I'm tucking it every time I'm turning it. See? And then, literally, just leave it like that. Get the bowl that you've used. Turn it over, <coughs> cover it for again about eight minutes. So I'm gonna leave it covered for eight minutes, and I'm gonna, this is where you press pause, and we'll come back to it, yeah? Okay, so the dough's been under here for about eight minutes. I normally say anything between five and 10 minutes for its first mini prove, I guess, yeah? So we take that top off. So it's got a nice soft skin on it. So literally what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna knead it again for two minutes, yeah? Knead it again for two minutes. So again, I'm gonna do that bit where I squeeze it under, turn it round, yeah? See that? 
squeeze it under, turn it round, like that, okay? So you've got a nice, smoothish bowl, ball, like that. Get the bowl, put it over. And again, because I leave that for eight minutes, or anywhere between five and ten, and then we'll come back, okay? Okay, so we're back again. Again, it's had eight minutes under the bowl. So it's nice and springy now. And we're just gonna literally knead it again for two minutes. And it's a lot softer now this time than the last time when you saw it, yeah? Just knead like this for two minutes. Okay, so I've been kneading again for a couple of minutes. Nothing precise, pretty much two minutes. And then, that's it, make it into our famous ball. So tucking and turning, tucking, turning, tuck, turn, yeah? Just like that, to make it a nice tight ball. Okay, and you should see, it should spring right back this time. You can see the difference. Before, when you poked it, the, the holes would just stay indented, but now they spring right back. That means it's good to go. This time, I'm gonna put it in the bowl. I'm gonna cover it with cling film. Okay, drop it in. Get your cling film. So literally that's going to stay like that until tomorrow. So the next step that we're going to do is called balling and that's making this big dough ball into the little individual pizza size ones. So we'll do that about four hours before we're going to cook them, stretch them, cook them I should say, yeah. So four hours before that we're going to make these into small balls. Put that in my proving drawer. We'll see you later.